the participation of the JF-17 Thunder Block III at the Royal International Air Tattoo, RIAT, 2025 marks the most high-profile international debut of this combat aircraft since the beginning of its operational service. RIAT, held annually at RAF Fairford in Gloucestershire, United Kingdom, is widely recognized as the world's largest and most influential military aviation showcase. The 2025 edition saw participation from over 30 countries and hundreds of aircraft, but the arrival of the JF-17 Block III drew particularly strong attention from both international defense officials and the aviation community, owing to its rising strategic importance, recent real-world deployments, and the broader geopolitical context in which it was deployed. The JF-17 Block III fighters were flown into the UK directly by Pakistan Air Force PAF pilots after a multi-leg, long-distance ferry flight that was supported mid-route by in-flight aerial refueling conducted with a Pakistan Air Force Il-78 tanker. The aerial refueling operation is significant in its own right, it showcased not only the aircraft's compatibility with long-range deployment missions but also demonstrated the PAF's ability to support expeditionary air operations beyond its borders. The mission planning, coordination, and successful execution of this transcontinental deployment underscored the aircraft's endurance and the PAF's growing operational maturity in force projection. At the center of attention was the JF-17 Block III, the most technologically advanced variant in the JF-17 family of multirole fighter jets. This version incorporates a number of critical advancements that push it into the 4.5 generation category, placing it in competition with more expensive Western and Eastern aircraft in the global market. The inclusion of an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar system gives the aircraft enhanced tracking, detection, and electronic counter-countermeasure capabilities. The radar allows the aircraft to engage multiple targets simultaneously with significantly improved accuracy and range, even in electronically contested environments. In the modern aerial combat landscape, where electronic warfare plays an increasingly pivotal role, the inclusion of AESA technology is considered essential for survivability and mission success. The cockpit systems on the JF-17 Block III are completely modernized. It features a full-glass cockpit with multi-function displays MFDs, a wide-angle holographic head-up display HUD, and a hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS interface designed to improve pilot situational awareness and ease of control under high-stress combat conditions. Of particular interest to analysts was the aircraft's helmet-mounted display and sight HMDS system, which allows a pilot to designate and lock onto targets simply by looking at them, a capability previously only available in select Western fighters. This system is particularly useful in close-range dogfights and high off borazite missile engagements. The JF-17 Block III also integrates digital fly-by-wire flight controls, enabling superior maneuverability, smoother flight characteristics, and improved pilot control in complex aerial environments. The FBW system is software-based, allowing future updates and refinements as required. Its incorporation reflects a broader shift toward digital and software-defined architectures in modern combat aviation, something that potential customers are increasingly demanding in new fighter acquisitions. During RIAT 2025, the JF-17 Block III took part in both aerial flight displays and static exhibitions. The flight routines included high-speed passes, vertical climbs, tight turns, and various aerobatic maneuvers that showcased its agility, climb rate, and flight handling. Characteristics The PAF pilots performed a carefully choreographed routine designed to demonstrate the aircraft's capabilities in both air combat and interception profiles. Observers from multiple air forces and aerospace industries praised the aircraft's acceleration and turning performance, particularly noting how it retained energy during extended maneuvers, which is crucial in dogfighting and energy management scenarios. On the ground, the aircraft was exhibited to defense delegations, analysts, engineers, and journalists. Technical briefings and walkthroughs were conducted by the PAF ground crew and engineers, who explained the aircraft's systems, maintenance architecture, and mission adaptability. One aspect that drew considerable attention was the modularity of the JF-17 Block III. The aircraft has been designed from the outset with a flexible open architecture, allowing user countries to integrate their own weapons, sensors, or mission systems as needed. This is a critical feature for air forces that wish to maintain sovereign control over system integration and avoid vendor lock-in, which is a major limitation in several high-end aircraft platforms produced by traditional defense exporters. The aircraft showcase at RIAT 2025 also took place against the backdrop of increased attention following its reported operational deployment during regional airspace tensions earlier in 2025.
While official details remain confidential and largely undisclosed through open source intelligence, multiple international defense media outlets and analysts have referred to the use of the JF-17 Block 3 in long-range patrols, border airspace intercept missions, and potentially radar suppression operations. Although no direct air-to-air -air engagements were publicly confirmed, there were persistent claims, especially in Western and South Asian defense circles, that the aircraft may have been involved in electronic jamming and network denial activities during that period. Whether these claims are substantiated or not, their very circulation has added to the perception of the aircraft as an operationally deployed and combat-relevant platform. The reception of the JF-17 Block 3 at RIAT was overwhelmingly positive, culminating in the aircraft being awarded the prestigious spirit of the Me Trophy. This award is typically reserved for aircraft teams that demonstrate exceptional discipline, team coordination, and public interaction, while also flying a platform that contributes meaningfully to the airshow's broader objectives of aviation engagement and cross-cultural cooperation. Winning this award placed the JF-17 Block 3 in a select group of internationally respected airshow participants and signaled its acceptance by a community that includes some of the most advanced and longest operating air forces in the world. What sets the RIAT 2025 showcase apart from other demonstrations of the aircraft is the focused and singular spotlight it gave to the JF-17 Block 3. No other platforms, weapons systems, or unrelated air assets were displayed by the Pakistan Air Force during the event. This deliberate and strategic choice ensured that all media, analytical, and procurement attention was centered solely on this aircraft. By doing so, the JF-17 Block 3 was judged on its own performance, technical specification, and field readiness, free from context switching or comparison with unrelated equipment. Analysts have noted that this level of focused exposure is rare in international airshows and that it positions the aircraft as a clearly defined and standalone offering in the export market. From an industry perspective, the significance of this debut cannot be overstated. The global fighter aircraft market is currently undergoing a period of restructuring, with many countries reassessing their procurement strategies due to rising costs, supply chain issues, and political constraints attached to traditional suppliers. In this environment, the JF-17 Block 3 offers an alternative, a modern fighter with high-tech systems, independent user control, competitive pricing, and low life cycle costs. Its maintainability, software customizability, and proven airframe design make it a practical solution for air forces that cannot afford or do not wish to rely on expensive fifth-generation options that often come with heavy political and logistical restrictions. The JF-17 Thunder Block 3's participation in the Royal International Air Tattoo 2025 represents a landmark moment in its journey from a domestically fielded platform to a globally recognized, mature, and technically competitive combat aircraft. It demonstrated long-range deployment capability, next-generation avionics, in-flight performance, and real-world applicability under modern operational conditions. Its performance, reception, and the accolades it earned reflect growing international recognition of the platform's place in the evolving global fighter landscape. As a result, the JF-17 Block 3 is expected to see expanded interest from foreign delegations and procurement programs in the coming years.